Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is James from Crenshaw Central Gaming and we are still traveling through Act 1 of Dead Island. Um, in the previous episode we went and talked to... Uh, who did we talk to? We talked to Jennifer Snyder about her sister and Jennifer wanted us to make sure that she was doing okay. Um, in this particular episode, we are going to go and help a guy by the name of Richard Case. Now, to show you how we find Mr. Case, you open up your map and you come all the way to about this spot about here um, it will be quicker if we hopped in a vehicle to do this this is coming from the lifeguard tower I've been saying the lifeguard tower for the lighthouse basically the entire game I do apologize for that I am an idiot um, but this one is actually probably one of the easier side quests that the game offers. Um, now I have passed my my destination. I'm gonna run over this guy here. Well, he doesn't decide he wants to chase us. We got one here we're going to have to kill. Okay. And now, let's make our way to Richard Case. I see one back there. He's a walker, so we ain't gonna worry about it. And, basically, what we're gonna be doing is he... Richard, like the one of the first ones we did back when we met John Cin uh, Cinemoy back in the first two episodes, we came by a guy who was trapped by a bunch of the undead, a bunch of zombies, and what we're going to have to do is first we're going to go f free him and then once we get him freed he's going to allow us to go to his his house now you see right there in front of me die infected die walker but you see right in front of us that little hut thing there that has all of them up there that's where we have to go to meet Richard these are not hard to kill even though Somebody! one knocked me into the middle of next Do week I should have got me some energy drink before I left the um, lifeguard tower but I wasn't thinking, didn't think my health was as bad as it was. Kill them! Kill them all! No, come back over here. Give our health time a, ch a chance to replenish. And we level up once again. And probably at the start of Act 2, when I start recording Act 2, is when I'm going to go in and upgrade my player some and show you exactly what I do there. Um, we got some fruit in here, so we're going to eat all of it. Well, since I leveled up, I... I was staying in the diamond bungalows and I made a run for it. I didn't get too damn far, as, as you can see. Here, take this key. If you have the guts to go to my bungalow, everything there is yours for the taking. <laughs> you earned it. There may be some other survivors who need your help back there. Help them. Don't help them. Not my concern. Right now, I just need to get the hell off this island. Okay, so uh, like I said, he, he was giving, he's 
basically gave us the keys to his house and we can go and get basically whatever we we want out of it um, his house is going to be located way over here I, if I remember right there's really not a whole lot there but it is a side quest that they give us I like doing all the side quests so we will be at least going in and taking a peek and see exactly what they got I need to change weapons because that one's dead and what I'm hoping for is some money because when I went to um, repair all my weapons at the start of the episode I wasn't allowed to repair one of my weapons so we're in door shut let's let's see what might be in here I don't see much in here I see a bell What's in here? a savage machete yes we do want yet another machete but I picked up a baseball bat that we are not going to need I'm going to drop my brass knuckles because I ain't going to need those either but we are picking up that machete um... we got some more deodorant to make some more of them deal bombs there's the weapons we just dropped. Um, and that's basically it. And as you can tell, th that side quest is over. Now, normally I would end the video here. But there is one more that we have to to do. Um, I want to open up this door and let them come in. And that's where we have to go and give a guy a whole bunch of alcohol now before we do that if I can find where I want to go on the map we're going to head back to the um the lighthouse the lifeguard tower and we're going to repair our weapons and depending on where the time is when we get there we'll determine on if I end this episode or not I probably will so as I'm making the trot over there and this is probably one of my shorter videos I want to say one more time this is James from Crenshaw Central Gaming saying thank you for watching I want to see if I can pop this ball here nope um and do check out some of our other videos uh, if you haven't checked out any of my other Dead Island videos watch some of those hit the like button hit the subscribe button it definitely mean a lot to the people who who puts forth the effort to making this channel know what it is and check out a couple of my friends videos they are mentioned in their description below John and Andrew they did quite a few videos for this channel and they're doing videos for their channel 
So go in and check them out. Give their videos a thumbs up and subscribe to theirs as well. We would all greatly appreciate it. But I am going to end this video here. Um, and come back and join me next time as I do the final side quest and act one as we try to continue our travels through the island of Benoit and Dead Island. Y'all thank you for watching and have a good one.